How's it going everybody? This is B2 Bush. Today I'm going to show you my Lego tape dispenser. Now I did not really design this, I just kind of cobbled it together as I went. This is probably, let's say like the 10th version of this. Version 1 is this. There's two metal stands over here and I found some metal brackets and I just kind of cobbled it together, bolted it together with a bunch of bolts and then there's like a jigsaw blade over here. Let me start off with how I got these really giant tape rolls is because it was on sale and you can buy like six, five or six rolls of these for maybe like $20. So I'm like, okay, you know, I'm a frugal person. I use quite a bit of tape myself. I probably would go through one roll of these in like a year or so. So it was relatively cheap. So I'm like, okay, you know, I'm going to get it. But I knew you probably need some kind of dispenser and when I looked online, you can't really buy a really giant tape dispenser for a tape this size. They do sell some commercial ones where it's sort of like an automatic thing where it has a motor in it, but you know, those are thousands of dollars. So I just wanted something where I can just pull the tape out and just use it to do packaging because I ship a lot of eBay stuff. So you can see that I kind of used up a little bit of this one already, probably like a sixth of it. So. This is version one over here. This blade keeps on falling off, but it works relatively well. I want to show you the drawbacks of this one. Number one, it's way too wide. You know, the tape is only this wide. You want it to, you know, not take up too much space. So that is one drawback. And I needed to add in this little clip because this thing started, you know, moving left and right. And if it moves too much left or right, it's no longer going to be on this little blade over here. So I put this clip here. And now you can tape it here and cut it at this blade. Issue with this is that, as you can see, I use probably a sixth of this roll and the inside of this um, cardboard thing is starting to wear down and a lot of little fuzz is coming out. So this is not the most ideal incarnation of this design. And so I wanted to make this video because in the process of using this thing, it keeps on breaking in certain key spots because as I go, I, you know, ship stuff. So I would pull a few pieces out and then I can see, oh, wow, it starts breaking like right here, just like that. And so this really was an iterative process. And I want to go over some key points of building this yourself. If you happen to be able to get some of this tape for really, really cheap. But if you do see it, you might want to build yourself a tape dispenser like this. First of all, I improved it by adding a wheel over here. So now, this can freely spin without rubbing the inside of this cardboard. So that's one feature over here. When you make a tape dispenser, you need it to be elevated enough so that it can spin freely, of course. So you need to make it for the maximum size of the tape. So that's why it's this tall high up. You also need some place for the tape to be held after you cut the tape. So that's what this little piece is for. And I found out that this is not strong enough to be held down. So there is a little piece of tape that's holding this long piece of flat Lego here. Let me just demonstrate. You just pull a little bit off and you have to pull it uh, from the right side because that's the way the teeth are pointed. Um, I got this little thing. It's just something I had um, with my jigsaw and for some reason I don't know where this fits So I'm gonna put this in this tape dispenser and then you just pull it on the right side Like that and you get a nice piece And I wanted to make this one-handed so you can see I can Kind of do it one-handed right now, but it was not always the case like this the bottom of the Lego is a little bit slippery So I did put a non-slip mat all of this stuff is for stiffening the bottom piece because I noticed if you pulled it here Okay, if you pulled it here and you have no stiffener here this whole thing would bend towards you this whole platform so you do need a bit of uh, stiffener over here and you'll see I have some of these long beams to stiffen the whole thing. These I added last. I added one of these sets first and then, uh, and then it still broke off. So I had to add two beams for it to be stiff enough and another beam right here because this thing happened to break off right at this point. So when I kind of pull it and then you push against this blade, there's a little bit of force going that way. So when you pull it, it tends to try to wiggle itself off and, and kind of pull itself off that way. I also have quite a bit of reinforcements here. It's like 
you can't just do two rows of this up because there's not enough Lego to hold it in place. You need this to be super beefy so that it just doesn't fall off. If you look at the inside of this, there is one single beam because if you don't connect these two beams, they tend to flex and then it would fall off. I also added a little bit more on top here because I don't want the whole roll to kind of walk off. It turns out that these bars here holding these beams um, keeps this roll from kind of walking it off. I also have little bits of Lego in between here just to keep the wheels aligned in the middle. In order to remove this roll, uh, you probably need to finish it first, but in order to install this roll, you see it's kind of captured in there. So you basically have to kind of pull this off, disassemble it a little bit, and then put it back together. But I think this is okay because I probably will never replace this you know, I, I've replaced this once in a year or two or something. So this reassembling of this thing is not that big a deal. It looks identical on the other side as well. Kind of have a bunch of different Lego colors here. I just put together whatever I had and just kind of mushed it all together. You can see these weird pieces. This is not really for aesthetic reasons. I just put whatever I have to try to reinforce it and you know try to cover it up with some flat pieces over here and this is about it i kind of ran out of legos uh when i try to build this area that's why you start seeing like a different color and there's all these little little like longer beam type things because this takes less number of legos to to build it higher and then i started using these guys because i don't have any more two-piece uh, Legos to put in anymore. I was trying to get rid of these Legos because I have no longer use for them and I suddenly thought, oh, why don't I just build a tape dispenser with this? I think on eBay, loose Legos goes for like 10, 12 dollars per pound and I probably use about one and a half pound of Legos in this and it's worth way more than that. I would have paid like 20, 30 dollars for a tape dispenser that would dispense this. But since I cannot buy it, this is a great opportunity to build something yourself, especially with Legos. You might think Legos is kind of weak. It is kind of, you know, by itself. If you're just talking about two pieces, um, you just break it off, right? But you can definitely reinforce it. You see how I reinforce it here? It makes it really, really, really strong. You just gotta do it in the right way and it can do heavy lifting stuff like dispensing this really heavy roll of tape. So thanks for watching and just checking out this tape dispenser. I'm really proud of this. This is probably the 10th time, 10 times I've revised this because it broke somewhere. I'm like, oh, let me add in more pieces. You know, I do this every morning for like half an hour or an hour or so. And then I kept on repeating it until now. It hasn't broken in like a week or so. So I think this is pretty close to the final version. If it breaks again, I'll probably, you know, mush together some more pieces. So thanks for watching. And don't forget to give me a like on this video and subscribe for more.